Good morning. I just wanted to check in real quick with you guys. I just had a quick breakfast or I'm still eating breakfast. And this morning, I have my Global Entry interview. If you don't know, um, Global Entry is similar to TSA PreCheck, but it's for international. Um, typically, like I wouldn't get it, but my PreCheck is about to expire and Global Entry is $15 more than PreCheck. So I was like, why not? So you have to go through an interview. Um, I, from what I'm told, the interview is quick. Um, you have to do like a background check. You fill out your application, you do a background check. And then from there, like you have to schedule an interview. So I'm headed to my interview today at the airport. I think they told me like the interview is just to check your ID, make sure you are who you say you are and stuff like that. So that should be maybe an hour, I hope. And then I'm gonna have lunch with a friend. Um, has anyone just been tired? Like I have been so tired and I've been going nonstop and I feel like I can't catch a break. Like even when I say I'm gonna take time off, I end up doing something. So I feel like the time is coming where I need a vacation. I'm planning one now, just trying to figure out where I'm gonna go. I'm actually planning a international trip to Europe in September, that should be fun. I'm trying to go to the WizKid concert. I am a WizKid fanatic, so all those plans coming, trip to Europe. I'm trying to go to Disney World. Never been to Disney World before in my life, which is crazy. So I'm trying to go to Disney World. Um, it's just so much that I wanna do, where I wanna go. So I'm trying to figure it all out because I'm tired and I need a break. And sometimes taking a break at home isn't enough. I always find something to do at home, so. It's time, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I have a partnership coming up with the Hotel Miami, so that should be fun, looking forward to that. So I have a summer full of activities planned. It's just a matter of figuring it out, figuring out you know what times to go, but it's coming. But just wanted to check in, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will be back um, just to check in with you guys and show you some more. Actually, I think I'm gonna go look for a dress today. I told y'all I've been obsessed with dresses and summer dresses are my thing this year. I don't know why, so I think I'm gonna look for a dress and some sandals probably. So I will check that out. a restaurant where it has a um, like a train with all the food on it you select your broth I got veggie broth and you can put whatever veggies whatever meat you want in the broth and just kind of create your own little lunch so I'm um, selecting my stuff from the train I already have my condiments that I'm putting in it now I'm selecting my meat and veggies that I'm gonna put in it so I have crab legs here and I'm probably just gonna add like some broccoli, um, bean sprouts, stuff like that. But it's a good experience. It's called I Love Hot Pot. It's in Duluth, Georgia. If you ever get a chance to eat hot pot, try it. It's really, really good. It's, it's 90 degrees here in Atlanta today, but they have it kind of chilly in here. So when I'm eating soup, I don't feel like I'm burning up. But it's a really good experience.
am excited because I have three new dresses I want to show you all. I've been obsessed with summer dresses lately and I cannot stop buying summer dresses. So I have three dresses I want to show y'all. One I think I showed you in the last video, but I'm going to try it on again and show it to you. And then I have two more dresses. One I bought from ASOS, one I bought from Nordstrom. I'm going to try them on and show them to you. Um, again, I don't do a lot of hauls. I don't do a lot of um, like shopping big hauls from one place. But I am excited about these summer dresses, so can't wait. But let me show them to you now and then I'll try them on. So this first one, I think I'll show you this one because I think I've already showed it to you. But this one is from Ace, um, no, Fabrique. This one is from Fabrique. So open back, the back is completely open. Boom, Fabrique, cute little sundress. And then the next one is from ASOS. So this one is probably one of my favorites. It's white dress and it is lace. It's so beautiful. So I did a reel with this one. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this dress in my reel. But I'm still going to try it on for you guys because absolutely love it and then the next one i bought from nordstrom which is similar to the white dress but it is spaghetti strap and it's lace as well but let's try them on okay so here is the dress from fabrique do we love this dress i like this dress the back is like completely open Love the print, love the details. Super cute. And the thing I like most about this dress is that it's very freeing. Oh, and huh, it has pockets. We love a dress with pockets, but also very freeing because again, I told y'all that it's hard for me to find dresses where um, I don't have to wear a bra or that looks right without me wearing a bra because um, my boobs is like one of my biggest insecurities. I don't like that. I'm a 34 double D, but hey, this is how God made me. So I have to take what he gives me, but yes. Okay, so that's the fabric dress and now I'm going to try on the dress from ASOS. So here is the ASOS dress. I'm gonna link it below, but I love, 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 love this dress. It's so pretty, it's so like, I don't know, like I wanna go on a picnic, I wanna go, I don't know, I wanna go somewhere. Like I love this dress so much. Like it is just a beautiful dress. And it has like a little slip underneath. And then I guess it's just see-through from like here all the way down, but the slip is here and a slip part to cover the boobs but I love this dress so much I don't know where I'm gonna wear it to just yet um but I don't know I love it and again it's ASOS and it also comes in black I don't have it in black but I'm gonna show you the black dress that's similar to this and it's spaghetti strap but this is the dress from ASOS. It comes in white and black. Also, I think it comes in um, green or blue too, if I'm not mistaken. But white and black is beautiful to me. Okay, so now I'm gonna try on the black spaghetti strap dress that is similar to this one. I don't know why my camera keeps like not focusing. I don't like that. But I'm gonna try on the black dress that is similar to this one. So this is the dress from Nordstrom and it is similar to the white dress from ASOS but it is spaghetti strap. It does have like that lace print and the little uh, slip underneath it. I like this dress. It's a nice little summer dress. Um, just spaghetti strap. Very cute, very simple. Again, I don't know where I would wear this dress to, but I have it if I decide I want to wear it somewhere. Super cute. And I'm 
going to show you the detail here. It's just a little flower detail. And that is the dress. Now I'm going to link all of these dresses below so you can see. And that is my dress try on. So I have two more dresses coming. I'll show you those dresses when they come. But so far these are the dresses that I have bought this summer. And I will show you the other two when they come when they get here. Hey y'all, so I am about to go to WIFH to get a hydrofacial. WIFH is the place I go to to get my laser treatments. If you've been following me for a while on Instagram, then you know that I've been on a laser hair removal journey because I have stubborn hairs on my face that just won't go away or they keep coming back. So usually I just get my chin laser, my upper lip, and my, um, like the little hair right here laser. Um, instead of getting wax because my face is very sensitive to wax and when I get wax I tend to get like a lot of um, bumps on my face so laser has been working perfectly for me but today we're getting a hydrofacial um, so I can come out with glistening skin bomb skin so I'm gonna take you along with me to WIFH let's go Okay y'all, so I have this headband on. I'm about to get this hydrofacial done. So I have planned to do a pool day today, but I can't because I have to avoid the sun for like the next 72 hours or direct sun exposure for the next 72 hours. So there goes my pool day, but we're gonna have clear skin and good skin and by okay, my skin. So kind of um, accomplish different things. So there's a tip that we use for cleansing, one that we use for extractions, so on and so forth, okay? Okay. Is this like Dr. Pimple Popper? Um, <laughs> <laughs> not that extreme. <laughs> but we have some whiteheads. I can see some congestion in your nose. So we're gonna try to get it out. I'm not gonna do a lot of digging because I don't want to pigment you. Okay. Um, so we'll get as much as we can. Okay. Okay.
I'm trying not to get you on camera. I don't want to. That is what came out of my face. So you can see the bottom. It is probably more interesting. Okay, so I am back from my hydrofacial. It felt very, it felt good. I won't say that it didn't feel good. She, when she put the warm towel on, felt so good. Um, she basically used several different acids that I cannot remember the name of, but she used them on my face. Um, and then she did a, like a suction type extraction for like whiteheads. And then she did like a manual extraction where she goes in and like pinches my skin um, to like get the whiteheads out. So I have to avoid direct sunlight for like the next she said after saturday i should be good but i'm gonna give myself some more time so probably like the next 72 hours which in 72 hours is supposed to rain so i'm pretty much missing this beautiful weekend in atlanta because i cannot be in direct sunlight but what i did do is i went to barnes and noble so i've been feeling um so glued to my screen whether it's my phone screen my ipad my macbook watching tv i'm always glued to a screen and i love to read but i don't like to read and this is so bad but i know a lot of people read like self-help books and you know like financial literacy books and like how to eat healthy type books i'm not that person because i feel like it still work to me like i'm always figuring out how to work on myself and it's draining like it's good but it's draining so i like fiction books and i like mystery thriller books so I am reading The Couple Next Door. I'm going to start reading The Couple Next Door. Really excited about it because I saw Jordan. I'm going to tag her below. She recommended this book on her Instagram. So I'm going to start reading this book. And I'm excited about it. And I also got another book that the lady at Barnes & Noble's um, told me about. It's called Sleepless. And basically she described it as a girl who ends up accidentally killing someone goes to jail for it does her time gets out live a content life and then years later her friend does the same thing kills someone so now that sh her friend has killed someone she's trying to help her friend um like bury the body or hide the body so her friend won't get convicted or get caught like she did so i'm interested in this book it's called sleepless i will let you guys know how both of these books are but i'm gonna start with the couple next door because it's smaller and um i'm kind of excited about reading this so i will follow up with you and i will see you later thank you guys for watching um like comment subscribe please 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 and i will see you in another video bye